You know, like I tell niggas, you know what I'm saying, man, you know, first of all, you got to understand, I was G before I was P. You know what I'm yeah, saying, man? So, so the point that I'm trying to make. Yo, the you saying them, that you pistol whoop somebody, I ain't even know nothing no, about No, 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 no. Some niggas, some rappers, real big time rappers, and this ain't no cap. They yeah. know what they is. They, 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 they. It was, you know, I don't know if it was surrounding the PMC shit. Cause well, where Pimper, did this happen? This in, was Houston? in Houston, Texas. Okay. Like when? At the Travel Lodge. Okay. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I was, uh, we was talking, I was talking to a guy the other day. He did an interview. He said, yeah, man, I heard somebody tried to uh, put a hit out on you in Texas. Texas. In Houston, I said they did. You know, it was some famous rappers. And this ain't no cap. They know who they is. I ain't got to say their name. Correct. But guess what happened? I took the pistol from the nigga and whoop, pistol whooped the nigga and called them niggas this, the next day. You know what I'm saying? Me and, and, and I seen the niggas ever since then. We cool now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Me and, and you know, like I tell niggas, you know what I'm saying? Man, you know, first of all, you got to understand, I was G before I was P. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Me? So, so the point that I'm trying to make. Yo, the you saying them, that you pistol whooped somebody? I ain't even know nothing no, about No, 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 no. Some niggas, this some rappers. Real big time rappers, and this ain't no cap. They yeah. know what they is. They, 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 they. It was, you know, I don't know if it was surrounding the PMC shit. Cause well, where Pimper, did this happen? This in, was Houston? in Houston, Texas. Okay. Like when? At the travel lodge. Okay. At the so travel lodge. So, so these niggas, what they did? They, 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 they kept trying to get me to come to this one club. And I, so I'm telling niggas like and they nigga, were from uh, Houston, nah, huh? They were yeah, from Houston. No, nah, the niggas was from Kansas City. Okay. But they, they was plugged with the Houston niggas, you know okay. what I mean, and, and some niggas in Atlanta. You know, it was Atlanta right. and Houston niggas, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I uh, I tell a nigga, no, nah, nigga, I'm over here at uh, a Chris joint. You know Chris, they got all the clubs and yeah, shit in yeah. Houston. You know, he's used to have Harlem nights. So I'm at Chris Club. I fuck yeah, with Chris. I so I'm at Chris Club. I said, no, nah, I'm fucking with Chris. I want to go to the other strip club. So the niggas, you know, they came, and, you know, the little nigga that did it, he dead now. Yeah. The little nigga out of uh, Kansas City, he died. You know, I met his mom. It was just some real... Some real lame shit. Grimy. It was some grimy shit. So he 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 tried to pull me over. I mean, he tried to pull me. To, he, he said, "Man, you know, woo woo, you know, blah blah blah." And I said, "Uh, yeah, man, I said that. You know what I'm saying?" And then he called, you know, one of the dudes, you know, one of one of the, the the rapper dudes' manager, and put him on the phone. And uh, so uh, they talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? And this my man. So I'm like, "Yeah, that's my man." You know what I'm saying? All these niggas supposed to be my man. You know what I'm saying? I me. Mean? So uh, I uh. I, I I trusted this nigga, so he kept saying, "Man, let's go somewhere and chill." So we had two little little stripper chicks with us. You know what I'm saying? You know, I knew the chicks, and they were my chicks, but I knew them. And they they wanted the stripper chicks. And I was like, "Okay, well, you know, I will ride with you," because I was like, not ride with him and the strippers. I would ride with them because I knew him and he was in town. Yeah. So uh, little homie, you know what I'm saying? He had a nigga with him, like a little, you know, he, the nigga was acting real fitchy. You know, like he was mean mugging a lot. You know, like he was building himself up to kill me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know I'm a, I'm a street nigga, so I, I'm peeping this Catch nigga. On. I'm like this nigga is this nigga is too he, he's too jittery, you know. And the little the little uh, little sister out of uh, out of Alton, Illinois, uh, Bre Breesha, she was with me. She had verified the story, so uh, you know we uh we 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 get to the uh, uh first we pull the put filling station. We get to the gas station, and the nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was looking, you know what I'm saying? I said, Man. This nigga, I said this nigga's acting extra, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't even addressed him at that point. No, because the nigga. I, the nigga that the, the, the nigga the nigga the nigga that did it, me and him was cool. I I met his mama. You know, we was in Kansas City. We was chilling. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even think nothing of this shit. And then you know the nigga they put on the phone. You know, I I did videos and shit with these niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was cool with these niggas. So I didn't think these niggas. And then you know because they had in situations like that, you, but these niggas, you know, these, niggas, these, niggas like, hey, these niggas, these niggas had money. These niggas, everybody oh, okay. know these niggas. These niggas so means the record. These niggas had money. Money. So I didn't think these niggas would be on no shit like right. that. You know what I mean? So, uh, 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 but we went to the little weed nigga house mm -hmm. over in, uh, at the projects before we went because uh, Abrisha wanted some weed. Mm -hmm. So we went to the little weed nigga house, and this nigga here, <laughs> this nigga here, man, he tell her that this y'all ain't gonna. She said we'll be back. She said y'all ain't gonna make it back. But she didn't tell me this until after you know the. So so let me get back to the story. So so. Uh, <laughs> So, no, nah, it's crazy, man. This is dog. This is, <laughs> hey, hey, boss, this is the crazy shit. CEO, this is the crazy shit that ever happened in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm walking behind you, walking behind me. You know how you got the spirit? I just feel like this nigga finna shoot me in the back of my head. So, we got in the room. We get in the room. Now, I shouldn't have never even came. It was a cheap ass hotel. I should have, everything, everything told me. Right. But, but I'm, I'm too, I guess I'm too gangster. I'm too, I'm, I'm, I'm like, 
these niggas ain't gonna dare fuck with me. And I think that's been, you know, that's how I got shot and shit. A lot of times, you know, I, you know, I, I, I don't think a nigga gonna do nothing because, you know, I used to be the nigga doing shit to exactly. niggas. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel, I don't have no fear of niggas, you know what I'm saying? But it's so, a karma. Yeah, 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 it was karma. It was karma in a lot of ways, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but, you know, so we get in there and him and Brisha go in the back. So Brisha walked out and did like this. Like, I don't know what's up with this nigga. <laughs> the, the nigga that, that, that was with us, he, he go out the door, right? He left the nigga in there. So I, no bullshit, CO. I'm thinking, right? Because of all the shit. I mean, this is this is why I, I give praise, you know, to 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 to, to, the, man to, up above. to the man above because he prepared me. Yeah. He prepared me to not to trust this dude. Yeah. Everything this dude did, it was signs. That's yeah. why I say signs and symbols is for the conscious mind. That's right. So you know what I'm saying? Then by him calling this particular person. You know what I'm saying, which is the manager of, of, of another rapper. You know what I'm saying, a big rap, time rapper. I'm, I'm like, you know, okay, that shit didn't make no sense. So we get in the motherfucking uh, place, and, uh, and, and and so the nigga walk after Brisha did this. He walked past. All I heard was click click. But the only now, if he was did click click, and I didn't know what's on some bullshit, I'd be like, dude, playing with a gun. But I'd already. God had already That's prepared good. me that yeah, I was gonna great. get killed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This nigga tried to kill me. So I, I jumped up and I. You know what I'm saying? The gun, the bullet went right past me. I grabbed, so I grabbed, grabbed with my other hand. Then you know I did a little flip. Yeah. Flipped the nigga got him on the ground. Yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? Me, I was in, I was in shock because I didn't know if I was shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was holding the nigga there, and Breesha and the other chick, they were screaming. And I'm talking about we in a fucking hotel, man. Nobody coming knocking. We it was a shot. So so once once we get the nigga on, the, once I get the nigga on the ground, then you understand know me. He, he was doing this. He was bending the gun. And I was sitting there. I was, you know, just in, in some kind they of weird. They tried to grab him out and knock him out or something. No, no, I, I was shocked. No, I'm talking, talking the, girl. About the girls. They was in the closet. They was hiding. They was in the closet they screaming back. for their life. They getting out the way. They was screaming because they thought, you know, because you know, it, the shit Straight was the shit was yeah. real. So when I seen the nigga put the pistol, I, I I just laid on his chest and he pow, he shot again, missed me. Then that's when I went berserk. And then I pulled him, took the pistol. I pistol him. I finished shooting him in the head. I said, I'm in Texas. I said, they got the death penalty. They got the death penalty. I said, you know, I said, I don't even want to go through this shit. So, you understand me? You know, I pissed on my You that much of a conscious thinker during because all I did a lot of time. adrenaline. You know, you know, to think about something you know, like you know, that. You know remember, what I mean? did a lot of time in penitentiary. Right. I'm, so a, I, I'm a thinker. I'm not no right. regular nigga out here. I'm a real right. thinker. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm thinking fast. That's how I was able to get the. Fast I could have died. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, I'm a chess player. So, I'm thinking all the way through the whole process. So, so. So when I didn't shoot him, I called the niggas. I said, yeah, you know, I, I, I ran with him. You know, he'll tell you, I mean, he, he know who he is, but you know, mm -hmm. me and him since made up, you know what I'm saying? He, he a good nigga, you know what I mean? I, I, I did some, some crazy shit. I ain't gonna say what it was because they tell who, who, who it is, but I did some crazy shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.